Hey, it's Yash, and in this lesson, we're going to cover how to enrich people data in Clay. Honestly, for any data point that's not email, this process is exactly the same as the one we covered in the Enrich Companies lesson. So here, we're just going to dive into the specific nuances of how to get emails in Clay. There's two special things to note about email waterfalls in Clay. One, we refund credits for data providers that don't find emails. We know how important email is as a data point and how frustrating it can be to pay a data provider only to find that there was no result found for the email. So we absorb the costs of missing emails and only charge you when an email is actually found. Two, we auto-validate emails with your chosen provider, but hide these columns to save screen space. This often confuses new Clay users because they run into an all too familiar problem. You get what seems to be a valid email result from a data provider only to run an actual email validation and find out that the email no longer exists. Clay takes care of this for you by default in your waterfall, but it's not immediately obvious. Let's take a look at an example. We're back to this core set of data that we've been looking at senior level revenue org employees at software companies in New York. Now, to find each of these people's emails, I'm gonna search for their work email in the enrichment panel. Great, I found the waterfall, and now I'm also gonna add more email providers to the list. Remember that Clay refunds you for any email provider calls that return no results. So it's in your interest to try as many providers as possible to maximize your data coverage. Quick note, you can again see the Jigsaw framework in action here. To obtain work emails, we need company domain at a bare minimum and ideally personal social profile URL in addition. That's why it's the top option. But if I can't find my way to social profile URL, I can use full names and company names or full names and personal emails as fallbacks. Last but not least, we need to choose our validation provider. Zero Bounce is the best email validator on the market, so we select it by default for you, but you're welcome to choose any provider that you want in its place. Note that you can also select whether or not Clay returns catch-all emails as valid. By default, we currently return catch-alls as valid emails because they are potential inboxes, but please note that you should be very careful with how you handle catch-all emails in an outbound strategy. If you're not, you can get your domains and mailboxes blacklisted. If you're not confident in what you're doing with catch-all emails, toggle this option on to be 100% safe. Now that we're done configuring, we'll let this waterfall run loose on the first 10 rows. See how when emails aren't found, one, they're refunded, and two, we go to the next provider in the waterfall. Also notice that your email validation columns don't appear by default. This is on purpose because it's intended to reduce visual clutter. But if you really wanna dig into the meat and bones of what's happening in this waterfall, open up the columns panel and unhide your validation columns to see what exactly is happening at each step of the waterfall. Now, that's everything we've got on email waterfalls in Clay. Remember that you can still add waterfalls for a whole host of other contact data points to your table. We have waterfalls for phone numbers, other social URLs, GitHub profile URLs, you name it. Once you've used all the waterfalls you can to try and find the data that you need, you'll likely still be left with what we call the last mile of data that you want to gather on your ICP. The last mile data problem applies broadly to two segments of data. One, industries not covered by traditional data providers. Think law firms or dentist office as examples. Two, data points not covered by traditional data providers. Think blog appearances, Instagram profiles, or other data points that you likely have a team manually copy pasting into your CRM today. No waterfall will help cover that last mile of data, and that's where AI web scraping with Clagent comes into play. But before we get into Clagent, we must first hone our AI prompting skills, which is what we'll cover next. 